Hey, this is Chris from Game Dev Project. I'm going to show you today how to take a model into Blender from the Cinti Studio shop pack and just change some of the textures just to suit your game a bit more. So in this case here, this angry Karen, she may get a surprise with her meal. So let's serve this first happy gentleman. Here goes there. Grab Karen her meal. Doesn't look too impressed, so let's pause things here. We'll jump into a new Blender project. So we'll get rid of the camera, the cube, and the light. If we go to File, Import, FBX, go to the directory that our models are stored in, and we're looking for the Prop Food Fries 01. Double click that, import that in. So the next thing we want to do, since we're going to be messing around with the textures, is we want to bring in the texture that is associated with the model. So to do that, on the mesh, we'll just remove the texture that's currently on there. We hit the plus and click new. And if we head to shading, and then we'll paste in the same folder as before, or you can manually look for it. So this is the models folder, so we'll just go up one directory and into the textures folder. You need to head back to Unity just to check what texture is associated with the model. Then we want to bring in that texture in to Blender. So in our case, we are looking for this texture here. If you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, we'll just copy the texture name. Back in Blender, in the search box, we we'll paste it in. And this texture we can just drag straight in. And for the color, we'll just plug that into the base color. And you should have your shading option here turned on. So, and when we pan in, we now have the texture on our model. So then next we'll go to UV editing. If you're not seeing your texture in here, what you want to do is hit the little open icon. Same as before, into the same textures folder. Look for that specific texture. And open it up. Now to get the texture showing in this UV editor screen, if we just move this across a little bit. And we'll select viewport shading. So what we're going to do is we're going to make her fries look nice and manky and disgusting and mouldy. So to do that we'll go into edit mode and also make sure we're on the, the select face mode. Now if we left click on one of the faces, then each time we select a new one, we'll hold shift. You can see they have the nice double texture there, just to give a bit of a shadow. So the way they've done that, if we zoom in on the texture map here, you can see they just span it across the two colours on the texture. If you're having a bit of trouble finding where it is on the texture map, hitting A on your keyboard will sort of highlight where it is, make it a bit easier to see. Now we'll try and look for a nice colour that has the same kind of effect that spans across the two. So with that move tool selected there, we can just, anywhere in the circle, we can just drag it wherever we want. You can see we have a nice green chip. Then we might give her a nice black chip. So like before, holding shift to select all the faces. If you're having issues pivoting around, hold shift and right click. And you can reset your pivot point there just to make it a bit easier to try and select the faces. Now back onto the textures, click A, it'll select everything. And we've gone for a nice browny black kind of colour. So I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling very hungry now looking at those chips. So what we'll do is we'll go File, Export, FBX. It's a good idea to make sure you save this as a separate model, but just for demonstration purposes, we'll just override the model that we have, as I can just import it back in if I need to. But in case you make any mistakes, you'll always want to have a backup of the model. So if we head to the models folder, type in the search just to make things easier. And if we double click this, and that's overridden our model that is in Unity. So if we head back to Unity, like that, where she has some nice disgusting looking chips. So if we unpause the game, still doesn't look too impressed. Go over to her, for her chips. Here you go, Karen. And all hell breaks loose. If we're still alive after this video, then let me know in the comments what else you want to see, especially with Cinti Studios models when it comes to Blender, retexturing, changing any models. I'd love to know what you want to see. Also, if you found it useful, then subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching.